Alright, so here we'll see where is our notification file and how it works. So we'll see it very quickly. Now to follow along with this, definitely you need to go to the last section and download the complete code. And in the complete code, the notification is already added. Now this is a brief introduction of how notification works, but definitely in future we're going to include more tutorial on this. The first thing in the lib folder, and if you have a common folder, you will have this common folder, and inside this helper function, and here helper folder actually, and inside this you have this notifications uh, helper, this one. Now inside this you have this whole class which is called notification helper. Okay, so over here there are a lot of code that involved doing this. Now I'm going to be very brief about this and cover this very quickly. All right, so I'll first cover for Android perspective. All right, now what the, the code is as it is, so you don't need to change any of this to notification to work. But one thing, if you want to play a notification on Android, anyway, so all you need to do, you need to come inside this, right? So you'll have this initialize notifications, this one. Sorry. Now, over here, there is this... Uh, Okay, let me put this const here, right? Okay, so here this is Android initialization settings, this one. So here there is a uh, argument which is called task list. And what is this? Actually, this refers to an image. Now, notification needs an image to be displayed, okay? Uh, without image on Android, it doesn't work. You have to have image name. So this is here task list and image name and this where is this image located well for Android you need to come over here Android folder app source main res and then here most probably well not most probably inside this drawable folder you have this task list dot png so you have to have an image and it has to have the correct path so now in, inside your RAS drawable folder, whatever the image, it has to be PNG format. Just mention the image name over here. Don't write .png. All right, so that's the only settings with Android actually. And the image name has to be correct. Okay, now for iOS, you don't need any kind of special settings directly. Mm -hmm like folder based like this with iOS you need permissions okay now this permission should be done somewhere okay now well actually when you initialize this app and try to add a notification definitely add.dart would get called actually I don't say notification I would say when you try to add a task add.dart this one gets called and inside this there's an init state function and here you do see that we call this notification helper function. Uh, sorry, this notification helper class and the methods over here, uh, we can directly access them using the class, actually instance name over here. So first we, well, we have a variable which is called a controller, notification helper, the variable name is controller. And we have it as light and we initialize it later so that's why here we have like this and then after initializing this variable which is notification helper type while well, over here actually we do this initialization notification so this is the function that we have seen a little early uh, over here actually Uh, this is the function so it gets called and it initializes everything but over here actually most initialization happens for uh, especially for Android even though we do see Darwin settings now this is for iOS actually okay now for and uh, well for iOS to work more on this you have to have this permission thing you have to call this function and this is exactly what we did over here. Okay, request iOS permission. Yeah. So for iOS, you have to call this one. And for Android initialization, everything happens over here uh, inside this function. Okay. So these are the two most basic things you have to have to be able to work on notification. Okay. 
Now there's another thing I would like to tell you that now here we do say that we are passing the ref object okay to this net notification class and you may ask why now because we are using river pod now river pod needs uh, a context if you want to show a dialog box like over here on iOS if you have this notification pop-up a local notification then you have to use context for show dialog but now since we're inside a controller or a very different class which is not a river pod controller class it's difficult to access the ref object so that's why actually we passed the ref object from here as we call this as we instantiate actually we pass it to this section over here okay all right now as we do that and it gets the context is available because we already passed the ref object if you pass ref object from ref you can grab the context and that's what we did okay and it's very important so once you pass the ref object of course the dialog would show up um, as a notification or notification would show up as a dialog okay and that's how it works and everywhere any and other places for now you don't need to make any changes all right but if you tap on the notification actually this would get called like notification page all right so it'll go to a new page and over here actually it would show your uh, notification all right as it says view notification now in general uh, you need to pass the payload payload is the information that you want to show on the notification as you can see this is as a string so in general our notification is a string okay now of course this string is available uh, inside this function which is called configure select notification instead of this we are calling this uh, uh, select a notification subject which is an object of I believe uh, this one okay this is a special streaming behavior object now this is more complex but anyway we are not going to dive into this one now so we have this one and because of this one we have this uh, stream object which listens to notification so as we click on that on that notification it takes you to a new page all right but of course here is this route you have to have route to go to a new page what I'm trying to say that stream object carries the payload so payload contains all the information that's available inside our notification so we go to a new place and uh, we see that now over here let's click on this and let's see where it is get called So here we have this notification helper and as you can see so it actually gets called at the very early okay when you initialize this function so once you initialize this initialize notification we know that this is get initialized uh, over here right this one initialize so as it gets initialized so this function gets registered so in a sense when this gets registered actually it actually registers this listener object okay as you can see over here we have this listener okay stream dot listen so it keeps listening to notification and as there is notification it pops up and if you click on that it goes to a new page all right so that's how it works thank you